GPT engineer is like auto GPT, but primarily focused on programmers to create project from one single prompt. All you have to do is one prompt and GPT engineer, like the name suggests, is an engineer for you who will code this completely for you. This has been developed by Anton Osika and this has been continuously developed as you can see like 11 hours before there was a commit that was merged. So this is a quite an active project and everybody has been fascinated about it. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do GPT engineer, how to use GPT engineer step by step, starting from the very first step of cloning the repository until making a successful project is what we are going to see in this video. Let's get started with this video. First thing first, if you happen to be here, please start the repository. This could mean a lot to the developer and give a shout out to the developer if you like this project. So what is GPT engineer? Specify what you want it to build. The AI asks for clarification, then builds it. And then the demo video is also quite popular. A lot of social media influencers have been sharing this demo video where you would see a question, simple instruction given to the GPT engineer, like multiplayer snake game. I want this, then this, and it ultimately ends up building it and you get to see everything together. This is quite interesting, but we are not going to just talk about it. We are going to actually use it. So there are two ways you can use GPT engineer. One, you can use it using the Python library, like the package, or you can use the development method. I'm going to show you using the development method because that's probably like most difficult and also it has the latest update that is available. Before you use GPT engineer, there are certain things that I'm going to tell you that you might need. In this video, I'm going to use, first of all, my terminal. My terminal is like this, the shell bash command prompt, where I'm going to go write codes. So this is first, you need to know how to use it, open it. If you are on Mac, open your terminal. If you are on Windows, open your command prompt. If you are on Linux, open your bash shell or whatever shell that you have got. This is first thing. The second thing is you need a working OpenAI API key. So GPT, GPT-4 API key is preferred, but if you do not have GPT-4 API key, you can still use it if you have access or if you have got credits because this code will automatically fall back to GPT-3.5 Turbo if you do not have GPT-4. Just keep in mind, if you have GPT-4, it's well and good. If you do not have GPT-4, it's still fine, it works. Third thing is you need an editor, code editor like Visual Studio Code. You may not be completely relevant for you, but I'm going to show you some part of the code using VS Code. So just don't wonder what am I using it. It's a Visual Studio Code, a code IDE, where I'm going to show you a couple of codes from GPT Engineer. And final thing is we are going to add environment variable, OpenAI API key as an environment variable. If you have already done this, well and good, but if you have not, different operating systems do this differently. I'm, do, I'm going to show it on Mac, but if you are using a different setup, then you have to find out how to add an environment variable key using your OS operating system for this particular variable name. I think with all these information, I'm going to first show you how to start it. First, we have to clone this repository, enter into the repository, build the project, activate our uh, virtual environment. And after we do that, this is like well and good. Uh, I would also show you some of the errors that I might encounter just to make you understand how do you fix this error and that's exactly why I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. First thing first, copy the project code. I'm going to copy it. Go to your terminal. Once you go to your terminal, just do git clone and paste the repository. So git clone and paste the repository. This will clone this repository as a local folder in your particular folder wherever you have got. Next, you can enter into that particular place the GPT engineer. Once you enter into it, you can see that the Git has been aligned, but also you can do LS and then see that all the files are available. Whatever the files that the uh, developer has given here, everything that you see here, it is available. Also, it's important for you to make sure that these, th this is all there because it, it will ultimately create like a virtual environment. So that's, that will take care of it. So all the files are available, which means so far we have done successfully. Cloning the GPT engineer project locally, entering into the GPT engineer project. We are into the GPT engineer project. Now we have to build the file. When you build the file, you basically say make install. When you do make install, it will ideally say an error in this case, create environment error, Python command not found. That is primarily because I am on a Mac version where I use Python 3 instead of Python. I use Python 3 instead of Python. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go inside the make file and I'm going to fix it. But before I do that, I'm going to open that. 
So I have opened the make file in my Visual Studio Code. As you can see, I just used code dot and then in the file explorer, I used Visual Studio Code. I opened, uh, I opened the files with Visual Studio Code. Once you go here, you can obviously see that it is looking for Python, which is something that will not work in my computer at least. So that's why I'm going to say Python 3 and pip3 and pip3 and that's it. So Python and pip has been converted into pip3 and python3 respectively. So save this. If your computer go to the command prompt and run python, if it works fine, you don't have to do it. If it doesn't show you any error, you don't have to do it. That's why I showed you the error in the first place to say that if this error occurs, it's python command not found. That means your python installation has an error. You have to fix the python installation. Either python word keyword is not part of your environment variable or like me, if you're on a different version on a Mac, then this might be an issue, but we fixed it by going into the make file and making the necessary changes of Python to Python three and pip to pip three. Now come back here, do the same make install and then wait for the virtual environment to be created. So what we are doing at this point is creating a virtual environment, installing all the required libraries that are required to run the GPT engineer project. And that is once that is done, then we will have to install, we will have to invoke or activate the virtual environment. It says all done. Everything is done at this point and you can see everything has been done. All the details are available. It took about 20 seconds. So the virtual environment is available for you to invoke. But before we invoke the virtual environment, I would strongly encourage you to sort out your OpenAI API key. How can you do it? You can go to platform.openai.com and go to your accounts and click API keys. Here you can go and create a new secret, whatever the name you want to give and copy the key, go back to your terminal. Once you go back to your terminal, I'm going to just clear the screen to make it easier for you. Go back to your terminal and then say export open AI underscore API underscore key and give the key just like how I've given, just give the entire key. So this is the same key that I'm using it here, which I'll delete after this video is published because I don't want anybody to use my key. So once you do this, the key would be added to your environment variable with this value. This is very important. Just press enter. This would be added. This is very important for GPT engineer to work on your local computer. Once this has been done, then at this point you have successfully done everything. So your environment variable is set. You have cloned, you have uh, gone into the folder. You have built it there. All you have to do is invoke the environment, invoke the, the project, invoke the activate the project. Now, when you want to run this next, we'll see first let's invoke the project. So I'm going to say source VN slash bin slash activate. Once I do this thing, you can see that we have invoked or activated this virtual environment and we are inside that virtual environment. So while we are inside the folder called GPT engineer, this is like a mini Python inside your computer where we have entered with this particular project. And that is exactly where we are going to ask GPT engineer to code something for us. And where is that something we are going to ask? We are to ask GPT engineer inside, inside the repo. So we are going to go inside the visual, virtual, visual, visual studio code and look at the projects inside this projects. We have an example project and we have to create our own project there. So how do we do it? This command will help us do it. I'm going to just use this and copy and paste it. I'm going to just call it a simple project. What can we call it? Maybe like a snake game, hangman game, hangman game. Okay. So I'm going to create a hangman game folder. That folder basically is copy of the existing example folder. So when you go to the visual studio code, you would see inside projects. Now we have got an example folder. Now we have got a hangman folder, which exactly copied the content of the example folder. So if you go inside hangman, you would see a main prompt. And this is where you define what you want to write, like what you want to create. So I'm going to say we are, we are writing a hangman game in Python. The game should show the user scores. That's it. I don't want to give more. You're writing a hangman game in Python. The game should show user scores. 
save it control s command s whatever that is save it go back to the gpt engineer virtual environment you have got and say gpt engineer right and the project name the project name in this case is project hangman game hangman game that's it once you run this you would see the magic happening the magic is it says there is an authentication error this is weird okay it says there is no api key available cool let me add it let me add the api key which is export open a api key we run this and run the project once again and then see if it works it works it says the model was not found which the model was looking for was gpt4 so it is falling back for model gpt 3.5 and it has started creating the game. The, based on the requirements, we'll need to create a few classes and functions to implement the hangman game. Here are the core classes. It's a strong, it follows strongly oops, I guess, uh, object-oriented programming. So you can see that it is creating classes, functions. So classes are created and functions are getting created. And uh, first it's been defined and then it's been getting created. And as you can see, it's also creating the requirements.txt file. And uh, I don't know if it put anything inside that. In this implementation, we have created a player class to represent this and hangman class to represent the game. The game contains logic for playing the game and all these kind of details. So it's asking if you, if yes, press enter, otherwise press no. If you want to run it, um, you can press yes. Most likely if you press yes, I am not sure if it has the requirements.txt file. It might also say that requirements.txt is not available. Let's run yes. Oh, I should have pressed enter. That's my bad. Okay, that's not a problem. We can run it ourselves. Clear the place. Now, as you can see, this run dot ish. So that will actually run the file. So I can go here, get the run dot ish, and run it. Once you run this, you can see it started installing the required libraries, and it says the main dot pi is not found because it's inside the virtual environment. That makes sense. So what I can do is I can clear this and then just leave it there. So you can go here and then see the code main.py and you can also see the hangman.py. One thing that I found a slightly weird is um, the file naming. It has also got the, the curly code there. So it's, it's also there. But um, other than that, if you see, kind of has done a decent job. Like, um, of course, like we are going to debug and all these kind of things, but it has done a decent job. So I'm going to go back again to my main prompt and then say a different thing. We are writing, um, we are, we are trying to build a simple snake game. Keep it so simple that it executes in command line. Done. Save it. Go back here. Once again, GPT engineer, just make sure that this is there because this indicates that you are still inside the virtual environment that has been still activated. I've given it in the hangman game folder. So I'm going to just write it because it's, I've just called it hangman game. And uh, you can see, sure, here is an architecture for a simple snake game that can be executed in the command line. It started creating, it has got a snake class, it has got a food class, it has got a draw board class, get input, a main pi, um, and the Python code is getting executed as we are speaking and uh, the class game class is being shown now. Now, how do you start it? How do you draw? What kind of updates you want to make? Like the entire thing is being actually created by GPT 3.5. GPT 4 is superior to GPT 3.5 in terms of code. So if you happen to have GPT 4 access, you might be, you, you might feel happier because that is much, much better in terms of the code in itself. So we have reached almost the final, uh, the Python part where we are uh, defining the utility functions. I mean, when I said we, uh, it's basically the code. So there are no dependencies. That's really good uh, to run the code base. All you have to do is do this thing. Do you want to execute this file? Press enter, it will execute the file. So it says error, no file available. That is primarily because it's looking for a main.py file and it has given us with. If you generally wanted to set up GPT engineer and then uh, get yourself this magic of using GPT engineer to create 
everything like the entire code base from one single prompt this is this project is for you like i said this project is getting extremely extremely popular um, it's like auto gpt for programmers so that's one of the reason i decided to cover this and i would love to hear from you what do you feel about gpt engineer and if you found anything really interesting with gpt engineer i hope this video was helpful to you like i said it's a step by step guide to use gpt engineer on your local computer if you have got any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting